Hey Dewdrops, it's Diane from Corvina. How are you? Happy Wednesday, I think it is. Hope you're having a really good day. My hair looks funny. All right, so while I'm waiting for people to pop on, let me show you what I made yesterday. Myself and Grace, my birthday helper, made a really pretty blue, pink, purple, and teal scarf. Hey Mary Alice, how are you? Hope you're doing really well. I think I might be a little bit early today. All right guys, so here are, this is the beautiful scarf we made yesterday. It's really vibrant, lots of colors. I just love that. Always love a colorful scarf. All right, so we've got two options today, like every day, and I asked you guys to vote in between them. Hi, Cora. Hi, Mary Alice's Cora. I've got a Cora too. She likes to be a scarf helper. I bet you would like to be a scarf helper too. I hope you're having a really good day with grandma. Yeah, okay. Okay, so option number one is blues and pinks. And it reminds me very much of Pantone's color of the year, like two or three years ago when they couldn't decide. So they had like the really light blue and the really light pink together as their like co-color of the year. It was very unusual. Hey, Grace and Scarlett, hope you're doing well. So then option number two is like dark purples to hot, hot pinks. And it was a close call, this one. The winner was 18 to 15, option number one with the blue, the light blue and the light pink. All right, so that's what we're gonna go for. It's gonna be really super feminine today. Let me show you the colors we are working with. This is our boldest pink right here. It's kind of a dusty, dusty pink. Where, are, where am I? Here we go. And then we got a little bit lighter of the same color, just a little bit lighter. Same color, lighter still. Okay, so then we get into our blues. And they're such tiny bottles, I don't wanna drop them in. I use these bottles when I'm mixing up paints and I'm unsure if I want to commit to a giant bottle of them. So we've got five, we've got six different paint colors here today. Okay, so we're gonna go from that dusty pink to the tealish blue. Okay, I kind of decided it was like really teal or blue, but I made a choice and <laughs> now we're gonna live with it, right? Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is clear off the surface of our tray. It's been sitting here for a minute or two. We're gonna get rid of any debris, dust debris, anything that could kind of hinder our marbling today. And so what are we doing? We are water marbling. We're using the ancient art form of water, water marbling to create a gorgeous silk scarf. It's gonna be one of a kind. I've never made one like this before and chances are I might never make one like this again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hi Barb, Barb just signed on. Okay guys, we're ready. We're doing option number one, blues and pinks. Here we go. You can see our tray is really kind of gross looking right now, right? But do not fear. The thing about water marbling is that all of the paint on the bottom of the tray, it doesn't bother us. See, no paint came up on this white sheet of paper. If it's on the bottom of the tray, it doesn't bother us. It's what's on the surface of the tray that can interact with our marbling. So that's why we do the white paper test to make sure it comes up clean, no matter what it looks like. All right, so our first step here is gonna be dropping that line of paint right down the middle. We're gonna start with our, our medium pink here today. See that pink spread so nice over the surface? Love that. This is one of those days I gotta slow down. Sometimes the paints move slow too though. It's not just me moving super fast all the time. All right, so yesterday I had my sweet little birthday helper here. Her name is Grace and she did a great job. I had a couple of kids helping me this week for in the past week. They love it, it's a great time. Kids in general love water marbling because there's not really a lot of wrong ways to do it. You just kind of go for it. Try not to squirt the paint and try not to drop the paint trip bottle in the water. <laughs> those are kind of our, those are our lofty goals right there. All right, so I'm gonna come in with our dusty pink and I'm gonna drop it at the top of the tray. And 
And then I'm gonna come in with our darkest blue. I'm gonna drop it at the bottom of the tray. And we'll see if we can't work our way towards each colors. So something interesting that you may or may not have noticed about water marbling that I don't really talk about a lot is that the, the colors don't blend inside the tray. Has anybody noticed that? So like the pink, I could drop blue right in the middle of the pink and it won't, it won't turn like purplish. And that's because whenever you make a drop in the tray, the starchy water, the thick water that I talk about being in the tray, it surrounds every drop of paint and prevents it from blending with one another. It's one of those really cool things that you don't really think about when you're doing water marbling, but when it occurs to you, it's like, oh, that is a whole different level of cool. I love that. So these paints, you can't blend them in the water, which I really like. So all of your blending has to be done before uh, you drop any paints into the tray. So I've blended all these colors first because they just don't blend. Every once in a while, I'll have somebody in a class just really love to play with the paints when they're in the tray. And you know, if you overwork the paints, the colors don't get muddy, but what they do what does happen is they get pixelated. So it's like you get just a pixelated screen of a bunch of little bits of color everywhere. So it's kind of an interesting phenomenon. I'm moving really slow. I ran out of caps for my bottles today. So I'm trying not to dump all of this paint into our tray. This is the medium color that's like right in between the blue and the pink. So it's almost like a gray, it's kind of, it's a funny color. I'm not sure how to describe it. But it's what we ended up with. Okay, so we got our medium color there. I'm gonna come back in and drop in our light pink. So that line is a little bit more defined. And then it's just gonna be all about thickening up our paint colors. It's worth mentioning too that right now, our tray of water is lying to us. So you saw in the beginning of our video here, the tray of water had a lot of reds, had some blues, had some paint that was stuck in it from the marbling I've done over the past couple of days. So those colors are still under there, making our colors look a little bit different. If you've taken my class before, it's something people notice at the end, they start getting really nervous looking. Um, about the paint in their tray because their pretty colors that they picked out don't look quite the same. So the same thing's happening here. The pretty colors are still there. They're just looking a little murky from the dark water underneath. All right, we're gonna come back in with our light pink. Looks like we got a lot of crackling today. Sometimes that happens, not a big deal. I'm not a super huge fan of it, but that's okay. That happens for a couple of reasons, I believe. One is when your paint sits too long on the surface of your tray. Believe it or not, the paint can actually start to dry out on the surface of the water. It's very unusual. Um, people don't really get that, and when they hear about it, they're always really surprised. But yeah, it definitely does happen. And that's when we get this crackling effect. The other time, what I'm seeing right now, I think it's because I just mixed these paints up so there's little tiny air bubbles incorporated into the paints. I think that's what we've going on, what we have going on, which is fine. You know, not a super huge deal. Some people actually say, you know, and when you read marbling books or blogs, they'll be like, nah, don't worry about it. It's called Baroque, lean into it, it's a style. <laughs> so, some people, some people don't mind at all. I mind a little bit. I won't lie. All right, coming in here with our gray blue. This is definitely going to be very feminine and delicate. Definitely need to order some more bottles. It's fine for today, but it's kind of 
rise a little bit further and then we'll be ready to go. An awful lot of pink space up here. I'm just going to kind of fill that in a little bit. Some days you have to be really meticulous. Today is not one of those days. And I hope you can see in the tray we've got a little bit of a, I think it's a nice gradient in color. We'll see how it translates when we pull the scarf out of the water. Drop in a little bit more of this dusty pink. done anything really exciting to talk about guys. I'm living a very boring life these days. Um, went to the grocery store today. That was pretty much the highlight. <laughs> but it was nice to get out. I really don't go out very often because um, I've got the kids and I, I don't know. I'm one of those weird people who really doesn't have an opinion. I really have no opinion about what's going on right now. I just want to do best for my kids so nobody gets six you know the kids and my grandparents and stuff so um, I don't really go a lot of places we did go to a creek I guess we did that that was fun went to a creek and there were other people there but it wasn't overly crowded and the kids got to splash around in muddy water and you know we're <laughs> we're Indiana people at heart right Indiana Ohio Kentucky we all do the same thing okay guys so I think we're gonna stop here we're gonna start moving our tools around in the water and we'll see where we end up. I don't really have a plan on where to stop on this one. That does look like a very pretty sunset though. We've been doing a lot of sunsets. I think we'll change it up a little bit. Although I do really like this. This week, so I picked out these yarn colors, not anticipating how hard it would be to match colors. I was just like, oh, these are really pretty. And they are, but it has been challenging for me to try and match up the colors. But I do love a good challenge. In fact, if things are boring, I get kind of antsy, you know? Right, so we've got our pretty color variation here, and it looks like one of my nails missed. Let me fix that real quick. And what does that mean? It looks like one of my the nails from my uh, tool didn't touch down in this part of the tray, so the pattern is just a little bit disrupted. So I am retracing that by hand. Yes, perfect. All right, I think we're gonna do one more thing. I don't know why I feel like I need to do this, but we're gonna do the loops. Cause I feel like we haven't done it for a while. So we're gonna go nice and slow, back and forth. See if we can't create some really pretty loops. Can you hear my tool? It's making kind of a squeaking noise. Oh goodness. Has anybody gone back to the salon and got their hair done? I have not gotten mine done yet and I need to. It occurred to me today. I should call my stylist and see if they're back. All right guys. It looks beautiful. It looks very feminine. Can't wait to see what it looks like when we pull it out of the water. So I think it's gonna look really cool. All right, got our big star brush here. We're gonna lift it up and set it down. And you will see the silk instantly absorb our paint pattern. I always love this part. Nice. 
nice and easy. That was a great, that was great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Make sure that gets in the water all the way. And now I'm gonna take my scarf off the rack here. So for anybody just watching for the first time, welcome to our groom. Um, I am here Monday through Friday live at 5 p.m. to make a beautiful scarf while you watch. So I really enjoy this. We started doing this um, when we first got the stay-at-home order about two months ago. I am out of Cincinnati, Ohio. We have people in this group from all over the world, um, which is really exciting to me that we can all sit and enjoy this together. Um, I feel like this is one of the positive things that social media was invented for. Not for being angry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm glad you're here with me today. All right, guys. So, we just made a pretty scarf. Cassie says, so pretty. I agree, Cassie, I think it's beautiful. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Katie, Karen, Regina, Kimmy, Megan, Barb, Grace and Scarlett, Mary Alice and Cora. I'm so glad everybody's here. And hello to all you people that watch the replay. I'm glad you watched the replay. All right, so we just created a beautiful feminine scarf with pink and blue shades. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. Let's pull it out of the water and see what we've got, okay? All right. Oh, look at that. I'm liking it, guys. This to me seems like, I used to work at Ann Taylor Loft a long, long, long time ago. And this to me seems like something that they would have carried. Simple, feminine, very pretty, very exciting. I just dumped it down into our rinse bucket. Sorry for disappearing there for a second. So what I do now is I put it in a bucket full of water to just rinse it off. Cassie says, love it. Or Carrie says, love it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Cassie and Carrie. Um, I lost my train of thought. I miss you girls so much. Uh, we were skipping rocks in the creek today thinking about the sand dunes. So what I do now is I rinse off the scarf and then I'll hang it to dry and I'll be back here to post pictures of it um, for you guys to see before I go to sleep tonight, okay? So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you find something that brings you joy today. All right, I'll see you back here again tomorrow, live at five. Remember, live colorfully. Goodbye.